guys, John V from Phone Rain. I'm live here at MWC 2015. I am at the Samsung press conference and I'm doing a quick first look between the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge and the HTC One M8. We know the M9 was just announced as well, but it's not yet on the market, so we're just gonna compare the M8 against the S6 here, the S6 Edge. So let's just jump right in and talk about the designs. Two, both handsets are pretty premium. You have an all metal unibody design with the HTC One M8. It has a very distinctive industrial design that's timeless and iconic, and it still stacks up to some of the more newer phones out there, but Samsung has done a fantastic job in updating the S6. It's the most drastic redesign yet in its history. Now, instead of using plastic, it has some solid premium materials. You have this metal trim bezel that, that goes around the sides of the phone, and it sandwiches together the glass top, the Gorilla Glass 4 top and bottom. And when you look at them like that, it looks like you're, you're, they're solid gold and silver pieces. Uh, with the S6 though, the edge, the glass back exhibits a lot more fingerprints and smudges just because of that. While the M8 is just a cleaner looking handset in general, but awesome designs. But uh, as far as comfort, it's tough to say, you know. Uh, you have the curved, dual, dual, uh, dual display on the, I mean, dual curved display with the S6 edge. Uh, you could tell right there around the sides. Um, so that's something that's very notable about it, but it's, it's tough to say which one feels better in the hand. As far as their display is concerned, hands down, the S6 Edge. It's cooler, especially how it contours around the sides. It has some useful, you know, useful functions, but it's more about the aesthetics. And, um, you know, it has a higher resolution too, Quad HD versus 1080p. Now, you don't really see it when you look at it from a normal distance, but it's just nice to know that it is top notch and, you know, it's pushing the boundaries. The S6 Edge 2 has a lot more feature set. You know, you have a you have a fingerprint sensor. They both have IR blasters, but you know, you have a, you have the S6 has the uh, the uh, fingerprint sensor, like I said, the heart rate sensor. It has built-in wireless charging, fast rapid charging. The M8, the only thing I could say that's uh, you know, beneficial is that it has a micro SD card slot and the dual front firing HTC Boom Sound speakers. Uh, now, as far as the cameras. Ultra pixel camera versus the 16 megapixel snapper in the S6. The M8, of course, has dual camera system, so it has that cool bokeh effect, but you achieve the same thing using the S6 Edge's camera as well. So, you know, not really missing a whole lot there, but we know how the, uh, the Ultra Pixel fared against, you know, other smartphones. So the X6, you know, coming from the S5, it's pretty, it's gonna probably produce some really nice photos. As far as the customized experience, TouchWiz, the latest version of TouchWiz versus uh, Sense 6.0. Um, 7.0 soon, of course, you're going to be, you know, getting the M9. Uh, but, you know, it, there's a more of a modern look with Sense 6, uh, with Sense as a whole. You know, they say that they toned down uh, TouchWiz to have a cleaner, more minimalist look. And we do see that in some of the widgets, but it still doesn't, you know, we wouldn't say it's quite as, uh, you know, clean as the, uh, the Sense UI here. Sense just has more of a modern appeal. Performance, we'd have to give the uh, S6 Edge the upper hand just because it's snappier. Though the uh, M8 is still pretty responsive and it's really nice because the S6, even for being an older handset, still is pretty fast and quick. So that's a quick first look between these two handsets, guys. If you want to learn more about them, you can check out our website, phonemina.com. Sean V, thanks for watching.